All right, hello everyone and uh, welcome to our first video on the topic of the human digestive system. All right, can you stomach it? In this wonderful chapter, we're going to look at the journey through the digestive system into this uh, mouth and then out, of course, the other end. Mm -hmm. But before we get to that very interesting part, we need to talk about something that you guys really love and that is food we're going to talk about food now before i talk about digestion we're going to talk about food what kind of food and nutrients there are and why our body needs them all right so in the first video uh, we're going to talk about why do we need food uh, what are the main types of nutrients which are found inside our food uh, what are the functions of each type of nutrient and also what is the structure uh, of each type of nutrient uh, in your textbook these are the pages so you can also have a look there all right it might sound like a really duh really obvious question but we're going to start with it anyway so why must we eat food now to answer this question i'm going to talk about four different situations and each of these situations give us a reason why we must eat food so the first situation is like mm, you know it's monday morning and the first period is pe mm. now what happens when you don't eat enough food before pe how is it like you know you'll feel kind of faint and you know not enough energy and that's precisely why we must eat food because food provides us with energy energy to walk to talk uh, of course, not in class, uh, but to do all the many things that we do every day. Yeah, please be following me in the in the notes. Okay, you can write down this point in the notes. In the second situation, hmm, have you ever felt like you were more hungry and felt like eating more on a cold day? You know, when I went overseas to colder countries, I find that I, I get hungry more easily. So why is that? Well, that's because food also is used to produce heat to maintain our body temperature. So the body uses food, um, food provides us with energy, but it also produces heat uh, and warms our body up. Now, third situation, you know, some of you, uh, your parents will tell you this, hey, you're growing up now, you know, you're a growing boy, you can afford to eat more. So why do your parents tell you that? Huh? Eat more, eat more. Well, that's because food it's actually used to help us grow new cells and tissues. Right? We need food so that we can actually grow. Our bodies can grow. And finally, uh, this situation, you know, once I was, I had a injury and I hurt my knee pretty badly. And I remember that when I was recovering, uh, my mom told me, even though I wasn't very hungry, that I should eat properly. So why is it that we are sick? When you're sick or injured, you should eat properly. But that's because food can also be used to repair worn out tissue or worn out cells. So not only growing new tissues and cells, but repairing worn out tissues and cells. Great. So that's why we must eat food. It's not just like the simple answer that, oh, I need to eat food because I'm hungry. Yeah, there are more scientific reasons why we need to eat food. Right, so we know that we need to eat food, but the second question then is, what do we get out of the food? Or what are the main types of nutrients that are found in our food? And, you know, if you go back to your fridge and take out anything, you know, any kinds of food from your fridge, you will always find some sort of uh, label at the back or where the nutrition facts. And this label tells you what are the main types of nutrients found in our food. So here's an example from my kitchen. Yes, it is my favorite brand and type of bread. Sunshine, right? I'm sure all of you have your own favorite brand of bread or something. Now, anyway, if you look at the nutrient uh, label, nutrition information, you will see a list of Nutrients, right? It says nutrients and you see a list of nutrients. Now, there are many different types of nutrients 
but I want you to just focus on three. There are three main types of nutrients that you need to know very well for this chapter. The first type are the carbohydrates. The carbohydrates. The second type, your proteins. And the last type, fats. Alright, so carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Now we're going to be looking a bit deeper at each of them now. So let's start with the carbohydrates. Yes, these are the carbs which those girls who are so scared of putting on weight are like, carbs, no, eat less carbs. Yes, carbohydrates. Now, for carbohydrates, there are three examples that you guys need to know well for this chapter. The first example of a carbohydrate is starch. All right. The second example of a carbohydrate is cellulose, right? The same uh, cellulose which is found in the, in the cell wall of the plant cell. And the last example of carbohydrates is sugars, okay? So carbohydrates, three examples, starch, cellulose, and sugars. Now, we can group them together in this way. Starch and cellulose uh, together, they are examples of complex carbohydrates, all right? Complex because they are very big. Uh, food molecules. I'll show you what I mean later, but they're quite big in comparison with the simple carbohydrates. Right? Sugars are simple carbohydrates because they are kind of smaller molecules. Alright, so just need to know these three examples. Alright, so at this point, you should be filling up the table on page one of your notes. Alright, so this is uh, your notes and this is page one. Okay, you should be filling up this table here. So we've already talked about the three main types of nutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fat, right? And we've talked about carbohydrates. The examples are here. Okay, we have starch, sugar, and cellulose. Now, as I go through our uh, next few slides, we'll talk about the functions of each type of nutrient, the examples, and also the size, is it large or small? All right, so just fill up the table as we go along. All right, let's go back to the slides. Cool. So we're gonna start with starch. Now starch is a carbohydrate and is found in foods like bread, cereal, pasta, rice, and potato. So what do you think the function of starch is? Looking at these foods, right? What do we eat these foods for? And you'll be right to think that, yes, you realize these foods are all very energy-packed, right? We eat them for energy. Uh, and that's what starch is for. Starch, uh, one of the functions of starch is that it is an immediate source of energy. It gives our bodies energy. And starch is a large food molecule. All right, I'll talk about that a bit more later. But it's a large food molecule, so it needs to be broken down by the digestive system to be useful to our body. Right, next we have the sugars and you see here all the favorite treats and yummy sweet things that everyone likes to eat. Uh, sugary goodness, not very healthy. Uh, but sugars are also an immediate source of energy, right? When you're hungry and you need energy, eat the chocolate bar, right? Uh, eat the sweet. It is a source of energy. Now there are a few examples of sugars that you need to know, right? So the first example is glucose. Right, and then there's also maltose and sucrose. Now, this may not make sense now, but as we look at more examples, I hope it starts to stick in your mind. Okay, glucose, maltose, and sucrose. So a lot of the os, os, os. These are all sugars. Right, and the last thing is compared to starch, they are actually very small food molecules. Right, finally we have cellulose. And uh, cellulose actually forms part of dietary fiber, right? The fiber that we eat, um, which helps us to hmm, pass motion. Huh? So cellulose forms part of that dietary fiber. Now, where can we find cellulose? Think back on your cells chapter, I already mentioned it. Yes, we can find it in our plant cell wall, right? Plant cells. So actually, we find cellulose in foods like fruits and vegetables yummy now the human digestive system 
cannot break down cellulose, right? We don't have the ability to break down cellulose. So what happens to the cellulose that we eat? Well, it gets passed out, undigested, and it actually forms the bulk of our feces. I'm not sure about you, uh, just the other day I had a whole can of corn. And uh, two days later, when I examined my poop, hmm, I don't know if you had this experience before, but I saw that the toilet bowl had some corn inside. So, hmm, yeah, so too much information, sorry. Okay, so that's cellulose, uh, fiber, it forms part of fiber and it is passed out undigested uh, in our feces. Okay, next up, we have our proteins. When you think of proteins, you think of meats and you think of eggs, right? So these are the foods that are rich in protein. Now question, do plants contain protein? And the answer is yes, right? In fact, a uh, good source of plant-based protein are your almonds, right? Um, interestingly, spinach uh, and uh, chick chickpeas, right? So all your peas and almonds and nuts, these are full of protein. So plants can give us proteins too. So vegetarians uh, can get sources of protein from uh, nuts and beans and things like that. So what is protein used for? Well, the main function of protein is that it's used to make new cells uh, and it's used for growth and repair. And that's why we have, you know, uh, this, uh, you know, this is, this is protein shake, uh, drunk by all those bodybuilders and, um, like, woof. And so you can come buff and put on lots of muscle mass and grow your muscle tissue bigger. Now, proteins are also used to make enzymes. Enzymes are actually a special type of protein which we'll learn more about later. Alright, so this is the main function of proteins. Um, right. And finally, we have fats. Right. Now, this thing they like to laugh at people. Haha, <laughs> you're so fat, you know. But you can just tell them, I'm not fat. I'm warm. Alright? Anyway, fats. What are fats for? Well, fats are used as reserve energy, okay, when there are not enough carbohydrates in the body. So usually your body will use carbohydrates first for energy. Then if not enough carbohydrates, you'll start using up fats. And if there's not enough fats, actually your body starts to use a bit of protein as well, but that's very rare. Now there's a question here. Which has more energy per gram, fat or carbohydrate? And the answer is actually fat, right? One gram of fat has more energy than one gram of carbohydrate. Uh, and that's a good thing for us actually, because imagine if we stored all our energy as carbohydrates, we would be really, really heavy. Hmm. Now the second function of fat is that it prevents the body from losing too much heat. It's a good insulator, a poor conductor of heat, fat. So it helps you to uh, prevent the body from losing too much heat. Now the last thing I can remember is actually fat uh, is used to protect important organs. Now you know your heart, for example, is surrounded by some fat which helps to cushion the impact and it protects it. So fat is not a bad thing, bad thing after all, huh? Now what food contains fat? Well, we usually think of things like our dairy products, like uh, butter, um, full cream milk. Now do plants contain fats? Or are they very healthy? Well, the thing is, plants do contain fats. So you think of things like our avocado, um, olive oils, plant-based oils, and even coconut. Right? These are plants which have fat. Alright, now turn to page 2 of your notes. I would like you all to work on the activity now. What's the nutrient? Alright, so I want you to categorize the food, the pictures of food, uh, based on the nutrients that they mainly contain. I want you to try first. So pause the video at this point. Try the activity. When you're ready to check the answers, press play again and we'll, I'll share the answers with you. Alright, so here are the answers. Carbohydrates. Rice, bread, french fries, potato, right, contains starch. Fruits, uh, fruits have some sugar actually. In fact, uh, the sugar found in fruits is, uh, is uh, there's some sucrose and there's also another sugar which you may have heard about before called fructose. Cakes are mostly sugar. Broccoli is a vegetable, so it has some fiber, cellulose. Right, proteins, satay, egg, and fat, butter. Right, so that's the answers. 
That's all for this video. There's one more to go on. See you there.